What's up guys? Back with another tutorial video. And by the way, thank you guys for the love on the last video. It really means a lot. I'll try to make this one as good or even better. Uh, anyways, Rolling Jones, uh, the Russian god himself. Uh, my favorite funk artist and he is someone that actually got me into producing funk. A really unique style in my opinion, kind of underground type shit. So I'm gonna show you guys how he makes his music. I'm gonna chop this up in uh, four parts. Samples, beat, effects and vocals. So yeah, let's get right to it. Like this, biatch. The thing with Roland Jones music is that uh, it's pretty simple. So uh, sample selection is really key. Like his drums are pretty simple. So uh, you need to find a really good sample. And in order to help you guys find some samples, these are some things that Roland Jones would sample. And for this video, I'm gonna go for something really underground, kind of like Kill a Mind. This beat right here that I made, I made it like a few days ago and I'm not sure what the sample is. It's from my loop pack, but I, if I figure it out, I'm gonna put it on the screen. But the sample sounds like this. But yeah, as I said, this is from my loop pack, uh, link in the description. If you download it, there's 85 sounds and uh, a lot of different styles, but most of them are Rolling Jones-esque samples. And you could download the loop pack and uh, take some sample from there. And most of them can be used to make this kinds of beats. And to tune your 808, uh, you want to find the key of the sample. And how you do that is uh, you can use key finders or you can just use your ear. You can just open an FL piano and try to find the bass notes. It's really not that hard. You just gotta keep trying to find the right bass note of the sample. So with the beat being pretty simple, you want to make the song sound full in other ways. So one thing I do is this. I clone the original sample and I, and I pitch it down one octave. And then I cut the highs on it, uh, the lower one. And on the original sample, you want to add reverb and uh, stereo imaging. And you can also do this on the lower one too. And also, since the beat is pretty simple itself, you want to find some melody or some other loop that you could add later in the track to add more variation to make it more interesting. So I chose these. So yeah, these are from Cymatics. You could also use Cymatics. There's a lot of good packs for these loops. I would recommend the Oracle pack and the Gems pack. But these cymatics packs are not free, so you go on this website called Looperman and you could search for loops. So you could go for something like Dark Loot, for example, and you can find loops. And then you can uh, scroll through these and see if you find something good. Yeah, when you found a loop that fits on your track, you could move on to the beat. Now the kick is probably the most important part about Merlin Jones beats, and it's this thumpy one right here. And you know, really beautiful kick. When you hear this kick, you just instantly know that it's a Roland Jones track. And to make the kick stand out more, you could uh, turn the kick channel all the way up and add a soft clip around the master. So it becomes really loud and uh, keeps it below 0 dB. His kick patterns are pretty simple. He pretty much keeps the same kick pattern throughout the whole track. So I only made two variations and then added two more variations later in the track for the B section. So the main kick pattern sounds like this. Pretty simple. And the the second kick pattern sounds like this. And I put the kick in the description along with the FLP. 
and for hats, you want to have a really short hat. And in RDS tracks, the hats are really simple. So you want to keep this two-step hat uh, pattern throughout the whole track, almost. All I did was just add this roll at the end of every 8th bar. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So like, what I meant before about his beats being simple, is literally this, like, his hats are nothing crazy at all. It's more focus on the, the actual kick and the, the sample. And for snares, you also want to have these really short ones. And also they're really like old sounding. So I made this. And this is the main snare. And I have these layered. So yeah, you can just layer them to make it louder and to achieve the sound you want. And also with percussions, he also doesn't do a lot of things with this. He usually only has like open hats. So I made this. Yeah, so I have two different ones to make it more interesting. And also I added this uh, percussion loop from Looperman because uh, the sample was uh, pretty dry and uh, didn't really have a lot of room. So I just added this. For 808s, you want to go for like a really noisy and really hard 808 to really emphasize the old sound. And uh, the 808 I chose sounds like this. And the main 808 pattern sounds like this. And you want it to follow the kick pattern. And keep adding variation to this 808 pattern. So it makes it interesting. I added some slide notes and high notes in some of the patterns. And for mixing the 808, I uh, added a stereo shaper to make it mono. For EQ, I just cut the highs to leave room for the vocals later on. For effects, you want to add this final crackle to uh, really achieve that underground sound. And uh, some classic effects from RJ is this one, this uh, glass crash thing. He uses it in almost every track. And another one is this one. Like a car drifting. And I also added this reverb going up towards the B section, because uh, this section is more like wet and reverby. And the final RJ effect I use is this one. Also a really classic one that he uses a lot. And also I added uh, some bit crushing on the master. And I use this plugin called D Blue Crusher. It's free, uh, link in the description. And uh, I keep the reduction at two, and then I have the mix at 25. Cause you wanna keep it at like in between 10 and 50, because if you do like any higher than that, then it's gonna be like really annoying to listen to. For vocals, you want to have the Memphis vocals. Some artists I recommend are Tommy Wright, Kingpin Skinny Pimp, 36 Mafia, Project Pat, and Gangsta Pat. And uh, you could go on YouTube and look through their songs, and then you can isolate the vocals. So the vocals I chose are these ones from Tommy Wright. Gotta get some money if I ain't got none. All it takes is a steamer and a motherfucking gun. Yeah, when you, when you found the one you like, you can uh, download the song. And when you've downloaded the song, you can go on vocalremover.org and you can drag the song in. And then it's gonna make an acapella. And then when it makes an acapella, you can just download it. You can drag it in your DAW and uh, choose the parts that you like. So I choose these. Gotta get some money if I ain't got none. All it takes is a steamer and a motherfucking gun. Keep my head down, throw these tricks for some 
this big shit. If I don't get broke, I never know it till I get a big And for the B section, I took another part of the song and I pitched it up, and uh, it sounds like this. If you don't find anything on YouTube with vocals, there's this phone kit by Candy Boy, which has uh, Memphis vocals. It's like, like hundreds of sounds uh, with uh, Memphis vocals, and you can just isolate them if you find something that you like. Break yourself, get the flow. And for mixing on the vocals, I made it mono and I added some delay and uh, I added an EQ to uh, remove the, the bass and I cut some of the, the really high end. And uh, I also added another bit crusher to really get that underground sound. And on the original sample, you want to cut the high end so uh, it doesn't clash with the vocals. Time for me to act like a psychopath and lunatic Some people don't believe that I can get ignorant So yeah, in summary, the sample selection is like the most important part and The beat is pretty simple, so you wanna add effects and melody loops to keep it interesting And uh, yeah, this is the full beat So y'all yeah, leave what it is Y'all yeah, leave what it is Y'all listen to this shit Y'all listen to this shit Get high, get fucked up, get drunk, whatever you do Sit bling, smoke weed what up? What up? Can play this shit. So yeah, I hope you guys like it. If you have any artist suggestions that you want me to do, uh, just comment. And yeah, as I said, my loop pack is in the description for free. And uh, go follow my SoundCloud, my Instagram, and uh, subscribe to my YouTube. And I'll see you guys. Peace.